So this is called Blue Veil. When your father calls you after 11 years of silence, you will want to pluck every question stuck between your teeth, ask why, ask how, and then he will say your name the way no other man has ever called you. You will want to forget he ever went missing, forget the dial tone he left in place of goodbye, forget the wrought iron fence he made of your chest. You will wait, for the, you will wait to hear the moon drop from the sky. I love you will sound like a lost prayer dancing a tangled crucifixion trying to unfasten your body from unwanted. When you hear your father cry for the first time, you will think of every toxic man you ever took back. You will slow your breathing, distract yourself from the number of men who had nothing to be scared of because there was no father standing behind you. When you remember that you promised yourself there would be no more poems written about the first man who ever left you, you will still sit on a phone and let him ask every question, try to heave all the answers with kindness he never offered, prove to yourself that he is a stranger, that you are not the same people because you cut down the rotted roots of this family tree, you promise yourself you will not cry. You will cry anyways. When he asks if you're married or still carry his last name, you will want to give the curse back to him. When you ask him if he ever dreamed of walking you down an aisle, your mouth will bloom the lilies that rest on his coffin. When you tell him for the first time that he has a grandchild, you will mumble her age like a thousand memos he never came home to read. He will have the audacity to ask to speak to her. Say no, because there is no amount of forgiveness that permits turning your own child into a martyr. When he repeats her name to give it a home in his mouth, change the subject as quickly as possible. Ask him, why are you in the hospital? Coughing up blood never seemed to be a problem in the past. When he tells you that he's lost the feeling in his legs, you will say amen to the inability for him to run anymore. When he tries to guess your age and fails, try not to count every minute he has missed like strikes of lightning. This storm is not allowed to come closer when you are still not dry from an 11 year old downpour, a seven year old guilt trip, and 14 years of abuse. His disappearing act was the best part of the show. Remember, you survived being severed in two. This time, you don't need an escape hatch. So when you say, I love you back, it will feel like treason and Sunday revival in a pit of snakes, but remember the parts of yourself that you built all on your own. Love was never something he had to give, so hand it to him, like the only gift he has ever received. And when you hear the dial tone this time, remember, you are the one to end the call. Mm -hmm.